Well, ain't this just a weird ass way to make a video? What is going on, guys? Welcome back to the Deus Asylum. I'm your Ward of the Michi Strine, and uh, I'm just out for my walk. Figured I would make today's Pokemon video just while doing this so I can multitask. So, today's Pokemon video is going to be uh, the team that I intend on using in Brilliant Diamond and Shining Pearl. Uh, first of all, I intend on getting Shining Pearl simply because uh, when the original Diamond and Pearl came out, I got Diamond. So it just makes sense to me to, uh, to get Shining Pearl this time. That way, you know, Diamond and Pearl. I mean, I'm gonna end up playing both Brilliant Diamond and Shining Pearl, but Shining Pearl is gonna be the first one. And first things first is the starter. Obviously, um, starter is the first Pokemon we gotta decide. And I picked Chimchar in my original Diamond playthrough, so I will not be picking Chimchar. Um, and I've used her twig. Hello, plane. Yeah, hello, plane. Thought it was a helicopter for a second. Um, I've used her twig on a number of different Sinnoh playthroughs, but I rarely ever used Piplup. So I th I'm thinking we're going to go with Piplup as our starter for Shining Pearl. And it actually makes sense considering Pearl is Palkia, you know, the water dragon type, and I'll have a water steel type starter. So. That'll be very interesting. The only problem is Sinnoh isn't exactly known for having the most amount of fire type Pokemon. That's kind of why uh, Chimchar is such an important starter for the game. Because, like I said, at the, in the original Diamond and Pearl, the fire type Elite Four member has like, what, two, three fire types? And that's all, <laughs> that's all of the fire types in, uh, in the game. We still don't know which decks it's going to have, whether it's the original Diamond and Pearl decks or the Platinum decks. Hopefully it's the Platinum decks, but if it's not, then Fire, the sun's gone, then Fire is not going to be something I have a lot of access to, at least good access to. But that's fine. Sorry about the wind also. Not much I can do about that. That's when I decided to come out for my walk. But yeah. Uh, I, th I think we'll probably go with Piplup just because I don't ever use Piplup. And honestly, I think Piplup, the Piplup line, other than Piplup itself, uh, gets a lot of hate. And yeah, Primplup is a weird name and an even weirder design, but I like Empoleon. That's just me. I like Empoleon. But up next, let's see. Like, even though I've used it in so many different playthroughs, you can't do a Sinnoh playthrough without Staraptor, so we gotta catch a Starly. Like, that's obviously gonna be our first catch. You, you, ju you just can't do a Sinnoh playthrough without Staraptor, right? So, that's gonna be number two on the list. Uh, number three will probably be maybe Gallade, simply because I never actually used a Gallade in a full playthrough. Anytime I've used a Gallade, it's a Gallade that I caught as a Gallade, like post game. So perhaps we'll do that. And Gallade was introduced in Sinnoh in Gen 4. So it'll be nice to like kind of revisit that form of nostalgia by, you know, using a Gen 4 uh, new evolution. I could go with like Elect Electivire or Magmortar, but Gallade is easily the best, one of, if not the best, of the new evolutions introduced in Gen 4. And it's still a member of the Ralts line, which Gardevoir is my favorite Pokemon, so Gallade gets extra points <laughs> for, for being that. So that's half our team already. Um, in terms of the other half, honestly, I don't even know. I don't, I don't even know what we're gonna have. It's actually pretty hard to really decide. Like, you, you always wanna go into these things knowing what you wanna do, but at the same time, first of all, I have no idea if the Platinum Dex is gonna be in there or if it's just the Diamond and Pearl Dex. If it's just if it's just the Diamond and Pearl Dex, it actually limits my options a lot. Uh, Cause the Diamond and Pearl Dex is in all honesty, garbage. <laughs> like, Diamond and Pearl's Pokedex is absolutely awful. So let, let's, let's just hope and pray that it's the Platinum Dex. Because my God, please, please don't let it be the original Diamond and Pearl Dex. But I guess I can go over what types I would want. I don't know the exact Pokemon, but I know I'm going to... Why? 
<laughs> I, I know I'm gonna want a probably a ghost type. I'm thinking maybe Dusk Noir. I don't use Dusk Noir very often. I've used Miss Magius plenty of times. Oh, oh something in my eye. But I don't I don't really ever use Dusk Noir like the du the Dusk Skull line in general. I don't use very often. It's usually the Gengar line. Hello birds. It's usually the Gengar line or uh, you know the mischievous line stuff like that i don't really ever use the dusk skull line mainly because of how slow they are but playing sword and shield i've come to realize just how good dusk Lops and dusk noir actually are so perhaps we'll use a member of the dusk skull line uh in shining pearl but i'm definitely going to want a ghost type just because i've always liked i've always liked the ghost type and let's just go over the types that we already have in so we've got piplup and polyon and be water steel and then Staraptor will be flying. I mean, normal flying, but we'll just count flying. Um, Gallade will be psychic fighting. And then we'll have a ghost type. Probably a pure ghost type. So that's six types already. And I still have, what, two more slots left? So we're getting pretty decent type coverage. I want to try and maximize my type coverage. Obviously, I'm going to need a ground type ground type is like one of the best types like the, one of the best offensive types in the game obviously i'm gonna i'm gonna want a uh a ground type and i'm not gonna have a fairy type on my team the reason why i'm not gonna have a fairy type on my team is because having a fairy type on on my team will just make cynthia too easy half of cynthia's team is weak to fairy um so i just i just don't want to do it I, I i want i want cynthia to be that massive Oh my God! I could lose at any min at any second threat that she was back in the day, and just just a heads up for all of you guys: don't hatch the Togepi egg that she gives you, because literally Cynthia now gives you a hard counter to her team in the form of the Togepi, since Togekiss is a fairy type. So maybe don't do that if you don't want the game to be too easy. Pokemon games, especially remakes, are already easy enough since we've all played through the games before. So let's not make it any easier. So I personally will not be using a fairy type just to make Cynthia a bit harder. But a ground type is always, is always, always, always useful. Um, so in terms of ground types, I don't know. I forget what ground types are in the Sinnoh decks, if I'm being completely honest with you. I don't actually remember what ground types are in the Sinnoh decks to begin with. So that there, there's one issue. <laughs> but I'm actually going to go this way. Um, but perhaps may, maybe, maybe we'll start off with something simple. Like, um, like a Geodude. Like we'll probably just catch an early game geo dude and then you see what we get from there yeah i i, I should i should have actually looked up Sinnoh's decks before making this video i don't remember what ground types are in the Sinnoh decks so we'll see and then the last type that i want to have on the team i would say fire but we probably won't get any goddamn fire types <laughs> Probably won't get any goddamn fire types. So the last one's gonna probably gonna be. Let, let, let's be honest. It's probably gonna be Garchomp. Like, if we're being honest with ourselves, I'm probably gonna, I'm probably just gonna catch a Gibble as early as I possibly can, and just have Garchomp on the team. I mean, like, I know where to catch Gibble early, like early on in the game, like around like the third gym. I think you can catch Gibble. So, does Garchomp make the game too easy? He might. Maybe, maybe maybe I shouldn't. Maybe I shouldn't catch. Um, oh no, street names. You might figure out where I live, even though I'm not in my own neighborhood right now. <laughs> yeah, Gar Garchomp might make the game too easy, and Gar Garchomp could be my ground type though. I could I could kill two birds with one stone, have a dragon and a ground in Garchomp, and then still have a free slot. If I, if I want good type coverage, Garchomp is the way to go, right? But Garchomp's so broken. <laughs> I don't know. We'll see. We'll, we'll see what we, what we want to do in terms of should we have the pseudo-legendary or not. Because, again, I know what I'm doing. I'm good at Pokemon. I know Pokemon. 
So the idea of having a pseudo legend on my team, especially early on in the game, I mean, admittedly, first and second form pseudo legends are usually garbage, right? Like Gibble is bad. <laughs> Gibble is a bad Pokemon and Gabite is decent. Gabite is definitely better than some second form pseudo legends, but Garchomp does not become, you know, super overpowered until it is a Garchomp. So maybe, maybe, maybe we'll use them until they become a Garchomp <laughs> and then we'll box it. I don't know. Uh, but yeah, that's pretty much it. I, I do want to make sure that I have these types on my team. Uh, because the, the, these types will give me very good type coverage. What's, what's one other type that I could, I could have? Perhaps, perhaps we could catch like a, like a glace or get a Glaceon or a Weavile just for some ice. That, that could also be a good thing. Weavile may be better because it's very fast, hits very hard, and is an ice dark type. That's a truck. So it'll give me better type coverage, but that Weavile is also two times weak to fighting. And there's a goddamn fighting gym in the game. <coughs> I'm not editing this video, by the way. Y'all are getting raw, uncut footage. I, I ain't cutting shit. Um, I don't even remember what I was talking about. <laughs> Whatever, man. Whatever. Loud ass truck destroyed my train of thought anyway let me know what you guys plan on using uh for the brilliant diamond and shining pearl remakes if you intend on playing them and yeah i'm gonna go finish my walk about 12 minutes in i'm gonna be out here for another like 20 minutes or so for this walk and then that'll be that'll be that so yeah, this video is going to go up a bit late. It's not going to be uploaded until I get back home because I'm not wasting my goddamn, uh, or I'm not wasting my data. I have, I have unlimited data, but it sure as hell ain't strong enough to be uploading a YouTube video. So this video will go up a little bit later, maybe about an hour or two, but you get your Pokemon video, damn it. <laughs> Let me know what teams you're going to use in the comments down below, and I'll see y'all uh, tomorrow for some more stuff. All right. Peace.